Welcome to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts. Robots designed to collaborate with humans or cobots have burst onto the scene, changing the rules of the game for both companies and workers. But what are the risks and opportunities? And how can the EU best deal with them and make the most of this new technology? Stay with us. Carrying shelves of products from worker to worker, packing, labeling, welding in the industrial sector, from the automotive industry to the electronic sector, collaborative robots are proving themselves to be worthy teammates, and their demand is on the rise in Europe as much as elsewhere. And most key players in the global cobot market are European companies, with the Asia Pacific region being a serious competitor. So, why are cobots so popular? Unlike traditional robots working independently from humans, collaborative robots work alongside them, complementing and improving their abilities and taking over the most heavy and repetitive tasks. They also help increase workers' safety, facilitate access to the labour market for people with disabilities, improve working conditions as well as productivity, accuracy, and competitiveness, and they help cut production costs. They have therefore changed the rules of traditional human-robot interaction with important labour, economic, social, and ethical implications. So, how can the EU best take advantage of the benefits and tackle the risks associated with the increased deployment of robotic technologies in the EU industry? According to a study conducted by the European Parliament's Panel for the Future of Science and Technology, four policy options need to be considered. First of all, there's a need for clear regulation that does not limit the development of collaborative robots while putting workers' health and safety at the forefront. Secondly, and in order to give European companies a competitive advantage, the EU should keep or even increase the money available for research into this technology. The EU also needs more policies to support the development of new applications that fully exploit the potential of collaborative robotics, as well as policies that promote ethical assessments to ensure that human-robot collaboration is safe, accepted by the worker, and in full respect of privacy issues. Want to know more? Check out the full study on the risks and opportunities linked to the use of collaborative industrial robots in Europe on the EPRS website. Or in our app. This is a European Parliamentary Research Service podcast. Thanks for listening.